All right, so here we go. We got a 1998 Chevrolet half ton K1500 four wheel drive. It's a Z71. Um, it is my son's truck. And we have already cut out all the rocker panels, all the cab corners, and the uh, fender flares are above the rear wheels on the bed sides. We've cut that out as well. We went ahead and put the Herculiner. bed liner material on top of the bed and also we did the bottom of the truck that we have there the truck has actually got a little over 300,000 miles on it. it's got a ton of miles on it but we went ahead and started working on it today we went ahead and started picking taking out the front grill and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the front bumper off from the front grill. Uh, already took the, and the radiator support core, we're gonna take that out as well. And what's gonna go in this truck is, I'll tell you what came out of that truck was that right there. It's a 5.7 Vortec 350. And we went ahead and stripped everything out of the engine compartment. This is the engine compartment here. We pulled the engine out. And let me show you what's gonna go into it. That's what's going into it. It's a 1990 Cummings 4BT turbo. Um, my son and I, we went ahead and uh, did a partial rebuild on it, pulled it apart. We uh, honed the cylinders, put new rings in it. Put all new uh, rod and main bearings in it. <clears throat> Ground the valves and got it all painted up. And basically, uh, we're as soon as we get the core support out, radiator core support, we're going to start building the motor mounts for it. And what we're going to try to do is just uh, kind of show you guys step by step what we're doing. Uh, we're not doing anything new. This has all been done before. We're just doing it on my son's truck. So this truck also has a automatic transmission. It's a 4L60E. I know there's pros and cons with this transmission. Um, I know the best thing to do is step up to the 4L80E. But what we're going to try to do is we're going to go ahead and maybe try to run this 4L60E with this Cummins and see how well it does. We are gonna get a uh, quick shift uh, controller and try to see how long we can make it work. If it doesn't hold up, then we are gonna be definitely be going to the 4L ADE and then we'll have to make some drive line modifications. We're gonna have to uh, shorten up the rear drive shaft, extend the front drive shaft and um, redo the mount on the 4L ADE to, on the existing 4L60E transmission mount. Got a few things to do, and we're just getting started. Okay, so this is gonna be wrapping up day one on taking the front grill out, and radiator, condenser, everything else hood off. Um, we've pretty much got everything where we want it, and we're just checking things out, seeing what it's looking like in there. It looks like we're gonna have plenty of room. We've got most of the wires all hooked up, labeled, and they should be ready to go back here when we start doing the reinstall. We got the motor mounts. As you can see, we're gonna have to go in and uh, take some of those out and uh, redo those. We've also got to either get a vacuum pump for the brake booster or possibly go ahead and um, do a hydro boost off of uh, probably a 2500 or some type of GM or Chevrolet. And uh, we got some other parts out that we needed out. Get the uh, air conditioner lines disconnect, the alternator out, AC compressor out, transmission cooler. And uh, looks like should be ready to go here uh, for the next day. Mm -hmm. 